Support for Woodsong Show number 731 is provided by Time Warner Cable, IntelliTouch Tuners, by the AER line of professional level acoustic amps, and by Alltech, makers of Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. Have you tried it? It's beer aged in the same barrels used to make bourbon. By Tourism Ireland, inviting the world to visit the music land of Ireland. By Folkbook.com, a social media site for music, arts, fans, and families. And by American Recordable Media. By the historic and beautiful city of Lexington and VisitLex.com, the Bluegrass Hospitality Association and the elegant, comfortable Hyatt Regency Hotel, welcoming visitors from all over the world to Lexington, Kentucky, the horse capital of the world and the home for great music. Take your next vacation trip to the musical State of Kentucky. To attend a taping of Woodsongs, visit our website at woodsongs.com. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is... Hank Williams. The Dressing Cowboy. <laughs> on the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. Hi, this is Amy Lou Harris. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer Michael Jonathan. Here's a song that you'll rarely hear on a banjo. It's an aria from a wonderful opera called Porgy and Bess. Summertime, when the living is easy, the fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Your daddy's rich, your mom is good looking So hush little baby now, don't you cry One of these mornings you're gonna rise up singing And you'll spread your wings and learn to fly But come that morning nobody will harm you Cause mama and daddy are passing by Instrumental time Get the audience to sing with Melissa. Ready? All together. Here we go. Summertime. And the living is easy. The fish are jumping. And the cotton is high. Your dad is rich. And your mom's good looking. So hush, little baby. You guys sound so good. Let's let you do it just by yourselves. Ready? Just the audience. Here we go. Summertime. So hush little baby now, 
Don't you cry So it's sad Good Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by Alltech, makers of Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. Beer aged in the same barrels used to make bourbon. You can find out more information online at KentuckyAle.com. And by listeners like you, Wit Songs is an all-volunteer-run multimedia celebration of grassroots music broadcasting worldwide and made possible by our audience. You can support our broadcast by becoming a Wit Songs partner. Information on how you can become a Wit Songs partner is online at WitSongs.com. And welcome to the historic Lyric Theater. Here we are in our beautiful hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music. It's the gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains where so much of this amazing music and art comes from. And on this stage, we celebrate the world of grassroots music like it was a precious diamond of many facets. And these facets are folk and blues and bluegrass. It's country, Celtic, old-timey, new singer, songwriter. Sometimes it's rock and roll. Sometimes it's classical, even opera that we've had on this stage because we love it all. We enjoy it all, we celebrate it all, just like you, our audience does. Artists come from everywhere to be here. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very good. He's been on our show six times already, and each time brought something amazing and special, so we've invited him back again for the entire hour. His story started over 50 years ago as a little boy listening to the washing machine go round and round and his mom teaching him how to, how to play. And when he was about six years old, his father decided, well, my kids are so talented. They started a family band and they sold their home and they, they started living in station wagons and touring around the country. His father passed away and about that time, he heard on the radio this song this song in 1961 by the amazing guitarist Chet Atkins. Listen to this music. There is something about the guitar, something about what was happening on that record that Chet Atkins moved this little six-year-old, seven-year-old boy. And it turned into an entire career. He's toured all over around the world. Guitar Player Magazine, twice, the readers have voted him best acoustic guitarist by readers. He's one of the most admired and revered guitar players in the entire world. We're going to dip into a CD of his called Endless Road. This is the Chet Atkins song that moved him when he was seven years old. Now he's going to play it for you. It's windy and warm. Please welcome Tommy Emanuel to the Wood Songs. Old time radio.
very much. Thank you. From the CD, Endless Road, Windy and Warm, Tommy Emmanuel. Welcome back to the show, well, man. Well, thanks for having me, Michael. So I want the audience to know that they can go backwards on the Wood Songs archives. We've talked about your history, your mom and dad, your brother. Yeah. Get a pencil, because in a minute I'm going to tell the audience the number of the broadcast that he was on so you can go back and learn this fascinating history. But You can torture yourself even more. That's right. Yeah. We're going to devote this hour to your guitar to your left hand, to your right hand, what you're doing, uh -huh. why you're doing it, and uh -huh. how you learned it. <laughs> okay? Well, that's a very brave move of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> sort of a global uh, guitar lesson by a, like a master, Tommy Emmanuel. So. Yeah. I think the audience is going to love it. <laughs> 50 years ago, you're, you're seven years old, you turn on the radio, there's a lot going on in your personal life at the time. Yeah. Well, actually, prior to that, I was... Uh, playing, uh, uh, I started out as a musician playing with my mother um, and because she was interested in Hawaiian music and she needed a rhythm player. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once I started playing the, the rhythm guitar, my brother Phil wanted to play lead and then my eldest brother took up drums. My sister played as well. But uh, what was interesting was that we weren't really that aware of a bass player on the records because I was trying to cover the bass part. I'll show you what I mean. Some of the records we listened to, for instance, the bass part went like this. And the rhythm player went like this. But what I was hearing was this. So it was a happy accident. So, so because you... Because you, as a little kid, you were not really aware of what a bass player was. Yes. You're listening to the records, you're hearing yeah. the bass, but you're assuming it's the guitar. I'm assuming it's the rhythm player, yeah. Right. And that's why, that's why I call that a happy accident. Because mm -hmm. when I heard Chet on the radio going like that and then playing the melody on top of it, I could hear that he was doing everything at once, mm -hmm. and everybody tried to talk me out of that. Everybody said, no, 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 it's a recording trick. You can't do that. Right. And I said, well, well, I could hear it, and yeah. so I just kept working on it. And I started out with a straight pick, and then um, uh, eventually, by the time I was about 10, I saw a photo of Chet for the first time, and he was wearing a thumb pick. Thumb pick. So now you, you play with a thumb, but no finger picks, just the thumb no, pick. No finger picks, no, uh, just the flesh. And, and I can flat pick with a thumb pick, and I can finger pick with a flat pick. I can swap <laughs> round. Isn't it nice that uh, when you were a little kid, you were wise enough not to listen to the critics? <laughs> I mean, look I've at what... I've never listened to critics. Well. <laughs> what the hell do they know? Isn't it... <laughs> Sibelius uh, uh, said, uh, which was uh, just uh, brilliant a couple centuries ago, he said, fear not the critics, for no one has ever erected a statue in honor of one. Exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. we're going to go into a song that yeah. demonstrates this yeah. bass playing process well, now, while you're playing the melody. Once I started learning some of these tunes by Chet Atkins and Merle Travers, uh, a fellow Kentuckian, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, once I started playing in that style, I was kind of hungry f to, to uh, do something uh, different and more exciting. So I found a way of being able to swing the bass around, move the bass like, uh, like a bass player would. So I was sitting down one day trying to play the song Blue Moon, and I was going... <laughs> You know how the tune goes. Right? And this... Uh, See, no, 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 no. That sounds good enough. Oh, no. It's, it's going to get better. <laughs> there, lucky for me, see, you, um, I was living in a house with two other musicians who were both jazz guys, and I, I wasn't a jazz guy. But they heard me playing that, and one of them said, why don't you move the bass through the changes? 
And what that means is why don't you spell out the chords by moving the bass around. Mm -hmm. So I started going, blue moon. Getting a little jazz on that. See that? And then the bass moved around. And then I found some little harmonies in the bridge. And then there's... that I started moving harmonies around all right so let's give you a chance now to, to play the audience this song in its entirety yeah. and, and I want them to listen for the parts that you just yeah. demonstrated from his CD dare to be different the song is blue moon Tommy Emmanuel and one single guitar so there's the bass here's the drums And then I got a rhythm guy as well, here he is. Think of the money I'm saving up here, ladies and gentlemen. And Mr. Fabulous, the lead player, here he comes. From CD Dare to be Different, one man and one single guitar, the song Blue Moon. If you want to know more about Tommy Emmanuel and this particular show, just visit woodsongs.com. Click on the archive page. This is show number 731, and <gasps> what's that sound? Oh, that's the sound of guitar players all over the world putting their guitar in their cases and throwing them in the closet after they heard that. I hope not. So... <laughs> So, so you, you, you're playing the lead, you're playing the rhythm, you're playing jazz, you're playing mm. bass runs. Is there anything else possibly you could add to an well, instrumental song? With a guitar like this, this acoustic guitar has an electronic system inside. It also has a microphone inside. And so the microphone picks up the sound of the box, basically. The guitar is a box with another piece of wood coming out of it, right? So you've got...
you got all sorts of sounds uh, coming off the thing. So I, I actually uh, used the guitar like a percussive instrument. So what you were just doing with the guitar in your world was not good enough. You thought, let me beat on it while no. I'm playing it. No, actually, you know, I'm, I'm actually a drummer. Didn't you play drums with your family band? Uh, I, I've played drums on a lot of things. So uh, percussion is part of your musical per, nature? Per, yeah. Bass, drums, and guitar. They're my three instruments. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, but I, I've, I started banging on the guitar. See, uh, you are banging. Yeah, I'm banging on it. I, yes. I started banging on it whoa, back in the 70s yeah. when we first put electronics in the in acoustic guitars. So the pickup allows the, pickup. the percussive sound to punch yeah, you, through. Yeah, you can go... You know, and, and people can hear it. So, so, and if you just want to use your pick, you can get it. Or you can get... Those kind of sounds. Or you can get... Or, or you know, whatever you wish. You can... <laughs> And I also... Any more toys you could throw in the mix? Well, yeah. I use a drummer's brush. Yeah. And, and people often ask me, you know, why do you do all this stuff? Well, to show nobody off. else does. <laughs> I'm trying to do something different. <laughs> yeah, well, now, did it, when you were first starting it, I mean, was it something that you added naturally or is it something you specifically said, I want to try to work this in and you, you had to like really practice it? No, what happened was I was doing a show with my brother and he... Phil. He, my brother Phil. Mm -hmm. And he was playing... Who a, is a spectacular guitar player. Oh, he player, really right? is. He's wonderful. Um, I was doing a show with my brother and we had, we had built the crowd. They were frothing at the mouth, I can tell you. And we were, we were reaching the kind of crescendo point of the show and he broke a string on his guitar. He's playing what we call a Fender Stratocaster. And if you break a string on a, on a Fender Stratocaster, because it has this mechanism inside it with springs and relies on pressure, Everything goes out of, out of tune real badly. So he breaks the string at this point and turns to me and says, "Take it." And I'm playing, and I'm playing an acoustic guitar plugged into the sound system, and I'm, go I'm, I'm going, you know, "Take what?" Like that. And uh, and he just walks off to change his string. So I'm left there, you know, the, like a stranded goose, and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, so uh, this situation was pretty ludicrous. So I start banging on the guitar. I start going... And all that stuff. And the crowd start going crazy like this. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> well, not that good. The, aud <laughs> the audience in Australia weren't that good. No, well, I'm kidding. Well, let's do this. Let's, now that we've uh, set up the idea of percussion on the guitar mm -hmm. while you're playing melody and bass and chords well, and stuff. Well, I, I play the song, right? And mm -hmm. then I go into a percussion solo, which ends with people going really crazy and standing up and clapping and stuff like that. Well. Okay. Please don't see the audience reaction by any means. <laughs> From his CD only, it's Mombasa. It's to Tommy Emmanuel on the Woods song, Full Time Radio.
Thank you. Tommy Emmanuel and his guitar and his hands and his brush, brush and, a, and, and a brush and let's talk about the care of your hands as a guitar player. Uh huh. Seriously, the, yeah. the care of your hands. I mean, the, the, you, you make well, your living with this, and uh, there are certain things I don't do. You know, like uh, I used to love playing tennis, mm -hmm. but that was hard on my forearms and really affected my finger picking. So I had to stop that. Did you ever have problems with like, uh, like numbness in your fingers and no. stuff like that? I've been very fortunate all my life, and I think I'm pretty right in saying that if you have like a repetitive stress with your hands or you, you have uh, uh, problems, uh, RSI and all that stuff, yeah. I think you're probably doing something wrong, mm -hmm. you know, because you should be able to play the guitar all day and all night and not have a problem with, with your hands. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, very. You probably end up with a problem way. with your girlfriend or yeah. wife. <laughs> well, that's for sure. <laughs> you got to. Everything's a delicate balance. It's a balance. Isn't it? That's right. What kind of guitar are you playing right now? This is a Maton guitar, made in Melbourne, Australia. Okay, and the kind of strings you're using? These ones are Martin strings, Martin FX. Straight out of the box. Straight out of the box. Put the them box. on. I change them every show. At medium or light gauge. These are, these are like gauge, 12 to 54. And these two over here have mediums on. Right. Do you, do you set the action on the strings closer to the fret than normal, or do you just leave it? Uh, no, not, not the normal. I, basically, uh, uh, I get the neck very straight, and, uh, um, and then I get the action set how I like it mm -hmm. uh, by very professional people. Uh, and then and I just carry a tool with me on the road, and with the different... Um, uh, weather, climate you know, changes, climate the way changes, changes, and all that. Yeah, the wood can move because yeah. you know it's wood; it's alive. Tommy's and, got a. I'm going to cut in here. Tommy's got a, a wonderful CD. If you like what he's doing on his on the stage by himself, he's got a CD of just him on a stage in a theater. It's called Live and Solo in Pensacola. And let's cut in and do a, a final song for a couple mm -hmm. minutes here at the end of the half hour. It's El Vaquero, Tommy Emmanuel on the Wood Songs. Old time radio. It's from his CD, live and solo in Pensacola, an entire album with just him on stage in a wonderful theater, just like here at the Lyric Theater. We are broadcasting an entire hour with the great Tommy Emmanuel. It's a wonderful guitar lesson that's going out worldwide. Stay where you are in the second half hour. We've got yet more conversation and an actual guitar lesson. So we'll be back right after this. You're listening to Woodsong Show number 731, broadcasting around the world from the historic city of Lexington. If you would like to attend a Woodsong's broadcast when visiting Lexington, Kentucky, you can find reservation and show schedules on our website, woodsongs.com. We'll be back after the break with Tommy Emanuel on the Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour.
second half of our show is presented in part by the Folk Book social media site for music and arts and our worldwide family with songs partners. And by Tourism Ireland, inviting families, conventions, and visitors to the Emerald Isle. Online at Ireland.com. Hi, this is Leo Kotke, and you're listening to Michael Jonathan, Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. Yeah, there's another good guitar player. Leo Kotke, good buddy. Welcome to the broadcast coming from the historic Lyric Theater here in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, broadcasting worldwide on over 509 radio stations. Let's say hello to the big, huge radio audience that's out there. From our audience here at the Lyric Theater. We're also broadcasting around the world on American Forces Radio Network, 173 nations plus every military base, every single U.S. naval ship worldwide. And as usual, we want to say hello to all the men and women out there that work so hard. Wood Songs is also a TV series. You get to watch a radio show in progress on your hometown public television station. We're in over 90 million homes nationwide on public television and online. We get a lot of email from our listeners. If you want to send me an email, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is simple. It's michael at woodsongs.com. Of course, Tommy is from, uh, Tommy Emanuel is from Australia, living in the States. And there was somebody else in our audience that is also from Australia, living in Nashville, Tennessee. Please say hi to Clara. And you, uh, you dabble with the guitar a little bit yourself, right? Yes, I do a little. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, your family is mainly from Korea? Yep, um, but I was born in Australia. Yeah, and when did you move to the States? About three, four years ago. Yeah, and about three, four years ago, uh, you, you uh, uh, about two weeks ago or so, something really interesting happened in your life. Yeah, that's right. Um, Tommy and I got married. <laughs> So, so we're talking to Mrs. Tommy Emanuel, Clara, yeah? Yes, that's right. And you realize that there's, there's hundreds of thousands of dude guitarists that would love to be in your shoes in a way, <laughs> sort of, to be able to be that close to a guitar master like that. So uh, being around the living room couch at night must be interesting. Do you, do you play on the guitar with your husband? Um, not actually that often. We've played once on stage in Paris. Um, That's romantic. Yep, we did two duets, and I thought I'll just end it on a high, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> was that, that that wasn't Paris, Kentucky, or Paris, Texas, <laughs> was it? It was Paris, Paris France. France yeah. <laughs> so what we wanted, to, we thought it'd be nice since they're newlyweds, and Clara was here tonight, and they're just brand new married. Right? We're very, very proud of you. Very happy for you. We're going to let you introduce the next song, okay? Okay. This is Tommy Emanuel playing the Beatles medley on Woodsung's Old Time Radio Hour. All
The Beatles medley is performed on our stage. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Not quite. Tommy Emmanuel. Now, in the first half hour, we described uh, the influence that Chet Atkins had on you. Mm -hmm. And that as a, as a young boy, you started to really take the guitar very seriously and, the, and your style of playing and stuff because of how Chet Atkins inspired you. We yes, found not too far from our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, in a town called Richmond, mm -hmm. a young 13-year-old boy. And his hero is Tommy Emmanuel, just like Chet Atkins was to you. So we're going we're gonna to introduce him musically first, and then we're going to have a conversation with him. We're going to let him, he's here with his guitar, 13 years old. He's going to play a song called Guitar Rag by Merle Travis. It's Parker Hastings from Richmond, Kentucky. Are you ready to have some more fun? A song from Muhlenberg County, Kentucky, written by a man named Merle Travis. Feel mighty lucky by the way he makes a guitar moan Hanging around, singing around a country store Just picking like a chicken, just picking up corn And every gal in the county gathers all around him Cause he's got rhythm in his bones Feet starts scooting to the shuffle and drag Every time I hear the rhythm of the guitar rag He gets a moaning tone He gets a grumbling groan when he gets to picking and a plucking the strings He can make it, he can do the buck and wing All fat and skinny, do little shimmy And the head start wiggle and whack Beat starts going to the shuffle and drag Every time I hear the rhythm of the guitar rag Parker Hastings from Richmond, Kentucky, 13 years old. Parker, let's say hi. Let's hi, Hoodie. Now, are you homeschooled or do you go to public school? I go to uh, actually a semi-private, I guess you could say, semi -private school. Semi-private <laughs> school. How long have you been playing the guitar? When did you start? You're 13 years old I'm now. I'm 13. I started when I was six. And really, when I think about it, that's over half my life. But I've only been... <laughs> Yeah, I've only been doing the thumb picking thing for a little over a year. A little over a year. So when did you first hear Tommy Emmanuel? I first heard him in concert when I was eight, mm -hmm. and I was just like, I was speechless because I had never heard any sounds come out of the guitar like he could make them come out. Mm -hmm. Now you, you were, what were you playing at the time? I mean, what style of music were you playing at eight uh, years old? Well, I had been into guitar for two years because I started when I was six, and I was yeah. eight then. So I was kind of getting, you know, more of the... I was kind of in like a blues type stage. Yeah. yeah eight years old, I could see the blues, yeah. <laughs> a lot of problems in your life that you needed to express. He, his woman left him. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> You know, Tom, you can happen, you know. <laughs> but it happened right, to me, so, too. Yeah, right. So here you are now. Now, now Tommy, here's, here's a fellow that is uh, yeah. performing in your shadows and stuff. And we're oh, going to have you. Great. We're going to have you play uh, one of your songs that you wrote that you got to perform with Chet. Yeah. But he learned. So yeah. now he's going to get to play it with you. So why don't you two guys talk about this song? Okay. Well, I, I'd like to tell Parker, first of all, that I'm, I'm very proud of him. And, uh, and I, I know uh, how, hard, how hard he works, and I know how long the road ahead of him is. 
So uh, he's off to a, a, w a wonderful start. And uh, the good thing is, is that uh, 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 Parker plays because he loves to play. That's right. And, and um, that's, that's the thing. When I met Chet Atkins, the first thing that struck me about him was how in love with the guitar he was. And that's the, that love affair just continues on. We have uh, my friend John Knowles, who's a CGP in the front row here. And this is a man who's not only in love with the guitar, but obsessed with it and everybody who plays it. And, uh, you know, well, he's getting up there as well. He's like in his late 50s. <laughs> so, you know... It's a long road ahead and you've got to stay focused and stay in love with this instrument. But the song that uh, uh, Parker and I would like to play is a song that I actually wrote back in 1976. So that was a long time ago, long before you were thought of, before your mum met your dad. Yeah. And um, I wrote this song and, and really, in hindsight, the song, it sounds like I wrote it for Chet, right? Because yeah. it was very influenced by him, right? Yep. Now, I... I then, later on, I, when, when he called me about recording with him, I said, I have a song I'd like to play to you, and I played it over the phone to him, and he loved it. And so the song found a good home in the album that we did together. And then um, and he came up with all the beautiful harmony ideas for uh, our recording. So what I'm hoping to recreate today is... You play my part, and I'll play Chet's part. Okay. Okay? All right. Now, let's, let's set this up a little bit, Tommy. You're playing in standard tuning. Yeah, we're, we're, <coughs> we're both playing in standard Parker, tuning. Parker, you're in standard tuning as well. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And what key is this in? This is in, in the key of D. Key of D. And I noticed yes. that in most of your songs, Tommy, you stay in first position chords as much as possible. Yeah, that, that's where the money is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Remember that, Parker. No. Yeah. Yeah. Chet I used to always say, he used right. to say, don't go up the dusty end. There's no right. money up there. Right. You know? <laughs> stay, stay down here. So, Parker, the, uh, the, the, the lesson is clear. Listen to Tommy Emmanuel, and you too can make tens and tens of dollars as a guitar player. Exactly. <laughs> going around the world. Why don't you guys yeah. play the song? You'll have a, always have a pocket full of coins. Yeah. Isn't that right? <laughs> Here we go. Dixie Maguire and um, Parker will take the melody, and I will fumble my way through the harmonies. Here we go. This is unison. Now I'm going to switch to harmony.
Rebecca Hastings. Tommy Manuel. You'll find that song Dixie McGuire on Tommy's wonderful album he did with Chet Atkins, The Day Finger Pickers Took Over the World. Isn't it fun having an artist like Parker Hastings just drop in? The mayor of Richmond, Kentucky. Yeah. Sometimes I really, really love this show because of things like that. So it must mean a lot to you. I mean, this is like going full circle five decades later. You're not kidding. It's a beautiful feeling. And, and to have, it, have him learn one of your songs. All the way out in Richmond, Kentucky, there's a little kid. I know it. It's, it's unbelievable. There's a little boy in uh, Croatia by the name of Freno uh, who's a bit younger than, uh, than Parker. And he goes on stage and plays some of my songs so beautifully. Mm. And, and he's so concentrated. And again, he's playing because he loves to play. And yeah. that's the key. If you, if you take your focus off that, things, things don't work like, like they should. If you're, if you're chasing fame and money, well, good luck to you. But, uh, but you're, you're, you're never going to get there if you don't stay true to the gift of, of music and, and share it with everybody. Well said. And I want to encourage the audience to really uh, explore the world of Tommy Emmanuel, his guitar, his family history, what brought him here. I mean, the things that, he, that we didn't talk about, the things that he struggles with is very, very inspiring that he's able to do what he's doing. If you go to woodsongs.com, click on the archive page. This is show 731. You get to watch this show again if you like uh, but you can go back way back in the early days he did show 245 then he came back and did show 349 then he came back again and did 428 then he came back and did show 548 then he came back and did show 562 then he came back with his brother Phil and did show 100, 624 so we are dear friends Thank you very much. Thanks for having me back, Mike. I love it. Let's end on a wonderful musical note. The hour's already gone by. We're going to go back into this album of you. The album is just you on stage. It's called Live and Solo in Pensacola. This is a great tune called El Vaquero. It's Tommy Emmanuel on the Wood Song. Yeah. Introduce that. You better do that again. Yeah. yeah well, you know what? <laughs> I had the wrong page up. <laughs> it is from his CD, Live and Solo in Pensacola. It's the T.E. Ranch on the Wood Song. It's a whole time.
Wasn't it great having Tom Emanuel on the show for the entire hour? Thank you. From Richmond, Kentucky, 13-year-old Parker Hastings and his guitar. And wasn't it an honor to meet Tommy's brand new bride, Clara, was here on our stage as well. So. Tommy's right. Passion transcends payment every time. Passion is permanent. It's always there. It's very, very moving. It, it, it's the glue that holds this wonderful community together. And we, we look at the whole hour and all the things that we have not been able to uh, talk about. The, Tommy gets this punchy guitar sound because he uses an AER acoustic amp and, and, and Parker's using the same kind. He's got a, uh, he's got a feed buster in his, uh, in his guitar hole. Why is he doing that? What kind of thumb pick is he using? There's so much we haven't talked about that I think we need to invite Tommy Manuel back again and continue this conversation. The point is this, great art is never done. There is no end to the wonderment of a magnificent guitar player because, because it's not just Tommy, it's those that he inspires, whether it's a little kid in Croatia or, or another young kid in Richmond, Kentucky, or you sitting out there, you who knows three chords in the truth, you who knows how to barely sit on the couch of your living room and play those songs, you know what? What you're doing with your family is just as passionate as what Tommy gets to do all over the world. Don't stop. Keep going. Music. It's an amazing form of love and communication. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a log cabin dweller. And we'll see you next week on the Woods Song. Old Time Radio. You're listening to Wit Songs broadcast number 731. Michael's opening song was Summertime from the Porgy and Bess Opera, featuring Melissa Deaton on vocals and A.J. Doherty on bass. Our chief engineer is Kevin Darth Fader Johnson. Technical assistants are Brian Clausing, Brandon Eves, Eric Anderson, and Jerome Cyberboy Galt. Our TV and internet broadcast is presented by Time Warner Cable and KET, directed by Doug Smart and assisted by Aaron Beyer. Our technical director is S.J. Matthews. The Witsaw's crew member of the week is our manifester of good juju, Catherine Jidstrup. Special support provided by Hybrid Spring Water, QX.net, Natasha's Bistro, Alltech, Kentucky Tourism, and Billy's Barbecue in Lexington. Our show is produced with the support of VisitLex.com, the Bluegrass Hospitality Association, and the Hyatt Regency Hotel, welcoming visitors from all over the world to Lexington, Kentucky. Wood Songs and the Wood Song symbol are registered trademarks of Rachel Aubrey Music. Thanks for listening. I'm Joe Conkrat. For Michael Jonathan and the entire Wood Songs crew, this is Dorothy Edwards. We hope you will join us again next week for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. <laughs> The online version of the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour is a free gift to our fans, provided by Time Warner Cable, your source for telephone, TV, and internet service. You can support this massive online archive of shows by becoming a Wood Songs radio partner. Become a Wood Songs partner today. We need your support to keep our broadcast going. It's as simple as a PayPal click on our website, woodsongs.com. What a beautiful audience. Give yourselves a big hand. Thank you so much. Did you have fun? Wasn't this great? And once again, let's, uh, let's uh, congratulate Tom Emanuel on his recent wedding and a beautiful bride. And we're very happy for you. Hopefully before long there'll be little chets running around the house, perhaps. You never know. Um, 
we would like to invite those of you who are here for the first time to become a Woodsongs partner. Woodsongs doesn't have sponsors or underwriters. Everybody works for free. It's, a, it's an all-volunteer run broadcast. What keeps the show going are special events every now and then, and mainly our family of Woodsongs partners. They're the engine that keeps Woodsongs broadcasting and allows us not just to bring artists like uh, Tommy Emanuel and Blind Boys of Alabama and Crystal Bower Sox and Jacob Dylan and Victor Wooten and all these Bela Fleck and all these wonderful artists that have been on the stage to your hometown, but it helps us to broadcast around the world on over 500 radio stations. It's a, it's a privilege for everybody involved, and I have to say that tonight the uh, Woodsongs crew performed magnificently. We went straight through 59 minutes. Give them one more big round of applause. Everything fired. All the pistons were firing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to allow Tommy the uh, stage and, uh, and to play two uh, encores for you here in our theater, those watching around the world right now on our live webcast. And uh, then he's going to be out in the lobby to say hi to everybody. He does have his CDs and stuff. Parker will be out there to say hello as well. <laughs> and then I'm going to go hang out with uh, Stephen Stills and uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd. So... Uh, Tommy Emanuel, everybody. And Parker. Parker. I'm going to give a little uh, plug for Tommy, and we've got our friend Eddie uh, Mattingly. Where's Eddie sitting in the audience? He's, he's the other. Where, where's he? Stand up, Eddie. Where are you? Over there? Say, wave hello to everybody. There he is. Eddie runs a, a series. Is it in, where is it, Eddie? In Louisville? Where is it? In Elizabethtown. And uh, he's got something called uh, the Tommy Fest coming up, and it's going to happen in February. And Tommy's going to be performing in concert and giving workshops. So if you want a personal guitar lesson from Tommy Emanuel, just see Eddie here before him. But it's kind of neat that, uh, Tommy, that you, you, you keep in very close contact with your fans. Personal contact. Right. And then you ended up uh, marrying one. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> One more on. Yeah. We're going to play uh, uh, a song that uh, Chet Atkins and I did together. This is Borsalino. It's another arrangement of mine from the 70s, back when I had hair and teeth.
got a spare room behind the bar for my Mac attack when I'm on the farm. You click it on, then you click around. See the cyber fun I found. Well, I'm a hayseed of the first degree I'm a country boy from Tennessee But on the screen I'm so debonair I'm a cyber hunk with a full head of hair And I'm looking on 